Nerd out here with the new CSGO Pro Tricks. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to the channel. One of the goals I set for myself for 2022 is to reach 50k subscribers on YouTube. So please subscribe. And to help the YouTube algorithm, please like the video, comment, and share the video to your friends and teammates. I sincerely appreciate all the support. Last week I showed Uniform Meat throwing this ledge one-way smoke that Mouse are going to use who I happened to found out that he was level 4 face it, which is pretty cool to hear. It doesn't really matter if you're low rank or high rank. As you can see, everyone can come up with some cool tricks that even pros will steal to use. Congrats to Uniform Me. So Torsi throws a smoke for Dexter, who jumps out the window onto this ledge towards the right. However, no one from Team Falcons on their T-side here is going to peek Dexter. Really strong smoke, as you can see that it's very hard to spot Dexter. Kading at the start of the round, Molly's ramp and then pushes up. As he does so, he throws a smoke on top of the molly towards the left to where the smoke leaves a gap ramp for him to peek towards the right. The smoke will bait out the peek from Barzan, thinking that ramp is smoked off and it's okay for him to push up. However, that's not going to be the case. Hook, line, and sinker from Kadian. Mouse are going to beep pop from apartments and Frozen entering goes behind this wall and throws his flash off the wall and then proceeds to follow it up quickly with a slight flash that also blinds anyone towards get right. He jumps out the window after and gets two frags. You usually only see the first flash thrown from the entry player, but Frozen is able to make it work with the sight flash too. Give the second flash a try on top of the first flash before you entry out and let me know how that goes. Mopes throws a B pop flash I haven't seen before and he's going to aim at the bottom of the chair leg then jump throw. This flash bounces off the window. Now the problem with this flash is that it's not going to go far enough to cover anyone holding inside get right. This is the most common way to molly under balcony from palace, however this molly does not spread and cover anyone on the bricks or in front of it. Mopes has a way to throw a molly from palace that covers the whole dark position where he's near the doorway, aims here then left click throw. As you can see the molly covers all of dark and even covers if any CTs were on top of the bricks. The downside to this molly is that you're exposed to throwing it as you wouldn't be with the first one that Plopsky threw. Mopes pushes underpass and as he does so he nades then peeks behind the cover of the nade explosion smoke that makes it harder for him to be spotted which he takes advantage of and gets the frag onto Dan King. Alex with the nade set from underpass where he throws a deep top con smoke, murder hole window molly and then an A site flash. For the smoke he crouches, aims to right of this pole, stands up and left click throw. For the rat molly aims bottom right of the stone and jump throw. Then for the flash aims bottom right of this window and jump throw. Movie Star Riders will use this utility set to take jungle and window control. Be careful with the smoke as it does leave a gap towards the left. ZTR smokes bench from this area under pass and under window. He will stand behind this wall, aims as shown, then jump throw. This smoke will give cover from triple and CT as NAP make their way up connector to A. Kadian jumps out window at the start and throws this smoke that is outside a bottom connector which the smoke gives him full cover to hold underpass which he finds a frag into Kido then falls back through connector safely with the cover of his smoke. We see here from Searson's POV that he doesn't know that Kadian is on the opposite side of the smoke and most likely thinks it's a bottom con one way smoke which he isn't worried about since he crossed the top boxes. Kadian has a nice CT smoke, he will line himself with this line on the wall. Then he will set his crosshair here and jump throw. The smoke leaves no gaps on either sides. Assetag throws the OP ticket one way smoke where he's crouched behind ticket, aims at the corner, then right click throw. Afterwards he gets on top of ticket where he has a one way to work with. This is a very strong smoke that I've shown multiple times in the past in my previous trick videos. But this was such a good round to see how OP that this smoke is. And you'll see it from Neofrag's POV that S attack can hardly be spotted and with the help of this smoke is able to get two frags. Nowadays you see this smoke being used more often on pistol rounds rather than the gun rounds in the pro scene. Art has a pretty wild position to smoke top con from top mid. He aligns himself with this set brick, stands up, aims here at this part of the wall, then jump through. The smoke is going to bounce off the wall and into connector and it's going to leave no gaps. Heroic with a playground nade stack at the start of the round doing good damage into Roy J. Had there been more Fnatic players, these nades could have done more damage. Kadian first player gets into the corner, aims at this wall here, runs forward and jump throw. Tessus will wing his nade aligning with the wall ahead of him, 
and aims at the branches here, runs forward and left click throw. Mops will throw a monster smoke from wood wall that's gonna leave a gap for him to the left where he peeks around it, he doesn't spot anyone and pushes through deep outside monster. Then Tai Lu come and retake control. Now the issue with this smoke here that he threw is that it extends really far out which gives a clue to Summer that something fishy could be up. Nassar will double nade monster and they peek behind the nades where they have the advantage once the smoke from the nades go away, however they're not going to spot anyone. Had there been a T towards barrels, you can see here that it would have been hard to spot the CTs behind these nades. Nassar smoke divider sandwich and as attack gets boosted to see over the wall and smoke where he looks towards dice to see if anyone's jump spotting and he almost connects the shot onto the jump spotter. Here's a very known wall bank that I don't see used very often that you could easily clear this position that Roland's holding by spraying it. Rez mulling short pipe, nading door, then will throw a short pipe flash by getting onto the rail behind default, crouch, aims at the gray, then left click throw. ZTR who's starting connector will come out door and peek short pipe getting defrag onto remind who is full white. This way of peeking short pipe by running through connector can catch the T's off guard versus going through short. This is a play I've seen a lot more recently in pro play. Refresh will throw a molly to the left monster wall to use it as a fake sound bait that monster is mollied off so that maybe gives false reassurance to the T default player thinking that the CTs won't push. Hiroki behind their monster smoke and Stown flashes outside monster blinding config. Shush will push through the smoke and config recovers and kills him. Nice attempt though. Here's another round of Heroic doing the same push through their own monster smoke with the same flash netting 3 frags in exchange for 1 death. Zip picks Molly's monster early on and then throws a smoke on top of the Molly towards the left side inside monster which will leave a gap on the right giving him a one way smoke to work with. DJ on the opposite end of monster isn't going to get in the way or peak monster here. EGPA with a cool smoke wall where two players will smoke bridge and in the middle of B site while three players rush short and the smokes give them cover to rush towards wood wall. However, things don't go as planned and Astralis shut this down. Let's take a look at how to throw these smokes. Pwn alone will smoke mid site and he will position against this wall as shown, sets his crosshair here then left click throw. DJ will throw the other smoke and he's going to be smoking bridge by getting in this back corner, aims above this wall, runs forward and jump throw. The smoke will bounce off the pillar and onto the bridge. Config is going to throw a monster lurk smoke standing behind the ladder, aims as shown, then jump throw. Astralis uses this smoke in this round to apply pressure, bait nades, and hold rotations, however don't go out with the smoke in this round. Zipix with a B nade set from water, he will flash sight, smoke heaven, and molly CT. He stands next to the sewer, for the flash he aims at the pole, then left click throw. For the heaven smoke, aims here, jump throw. Then he moves in the middle of water and molly CT, putting his crosshair above this building and left click throw. Config molly's graffiti from water lining up with this white line on the wall, aims to the middle and to the right of the sign and jump throw. The molly's gonna force Janji out of graffiti and into the open. Plopsky smokes heaven from outside monster, he's gonna position in the middle of the smudge on the wall, aims here below the ear. And he's gonna run forward till he hits here, then jump throw. You're probably more familiar with the eyeball lineup. I think Plopsky waits there just for his teammates to get out monster. Rez throws the front sight lurk smoke from inside bathrooms, and this smoke will give him cover to push up towards the left, leaving him a one way smoke where he takes out Mansu first and then jumps up and finishes the round with Fiku. This is a smoke that T's are throwing, and you hardly see CT's throwing it, and I first seen this smoke used by Art last summer. Taps in Molly's default A site from under stairs. He faces to the left of the pole, turns around, aims at this thing sticking out of the wall, and then runs forward and jump throw when he hits the next one. The Molly denies a plant, and Messi has no time to go anywhere else to plant, and Big will win the round. If you ever need to Molly truck on the fly, you could do so by throwing it off the truck like Tapson does here. Favin will kill Messi behind truck, but you can see here the Molly would have forced Messi out of position. Zipix smokes jump up, then Molly's dice. He stands in front of this wall, puts his crosser here, then jump throw. Dice Molotov, he stands next to the divider sandwich wall, aims to the right of this mark, then jump throw. If you had to choose a place to Molly between dice and truck, usually it's truck because CTs often use truck to anchor since it gives you a lot more cover. Shush smokes between dice and truck. It's a smoke I have not seen in such a long time. 
because teams are opting to smoke bank and jump up instead of doing the three smoke wall in A. But here in this round, Heroic will use this smoke to take some angles away, as well as providing protection for Kayden to plant on their eco. Searson is going to rush water with an AWP at the start of the round, putting out Heroic's molly. He clears water first, then sets up the peak connector with his teammates blowing the door up. Searson doesn't see anyone and then changes his position to hold short pipe while Fabian is going to watch his connector. This is a really strong angle held here from Searson. Heroic have the read that Searson might be holding from here, which you're going to see Heroic jump over. However, Searson finds one frag, then rotates to short and gets another frag. Big found a way to smoke short pipe that leaves a gap in the smoke for any T's pushing into water. Keto stands next to his wall, aims below the yellow sign, then left and right click jump throw. The smoke extinguishes Heroic's molly, leaving a gap for Favin to contest anyone rushing water, which he frags refresh. What's also nice about this smoke is that even if there isn't a molly thrown from the CTs, the smoke will still leave the same gap. In the same round, refresh gets run boosted to try to avoid molly damage, but didn't work out too well here. Astralis running one of the most popular eco strats you could do on CT side overpass where you have multiple players pit with nades for when the T's come out monster. The nades will do good damage onto two of the heroic players making it easier for the pistols and scouts to come into play which Astralis will go on to win this eco. Vigo is going to get locked out of sight from the jump up smoke, Fear advancing up from long, Vigo will spam this wall getting the wall bang onto one of the Fear players. Definitely give this a try if you're in his position and you're playing retake. If you're playing barrels and you want to help out Khan, you can move over to the sandbag in sight and start spamming this wood wall which Shush does here, killing Glaive inside connector. Most often you'll see the rotator spamming the wall to the right. One of the most annoying things T's have to face inside connector is getting spammed through these walls. One way to deal with these connector spammers is doing this nade stack I've shown in the past from Astral's, which one of their nades misses here and the two nades still kills down who is trying to wall bank connector. I'll link below in the description the video where you can see the lineups. Mister with a cheeky angle behind truck peeking this gap getting the frag onto one of the Fury players. As a T this position can be difficult to spot as your advancing site. My good friend Samurai found a way to molly T stairs coming out of spawn with this run boost throw similar to the Copenhagen Flames one where they use the run boost which makes the molly travel further in the same amount of time. If you want to learn how to do so I'll link the video below. Before I continue to show you more tricks, I want to plug my TikTok, which my username is Nart out here. If you like tricks and tips, you'll want to for sure follow me on TikTok to stay up to date with the latest meta. Shooks at the start of the round goes on top of this pallet and he has a wall bang lineup for window. He spams the wall after the T's window molly ends, which is the timing when the T's will advance into window and he does good damage onto DJ, taking him down to 39 HP. Next is Crouch back left of the Dark Pillar, has a pool flash lineup for Flame, CT, who plans on pushing the CT smoke when Cole execute. Well, Cole execute B and Nexa throws a flash into pool, Flame pushes through and kills two blind Cole players, nice setup from Nexa there. When it's the last round of the half or match, you'll want to drop extra utility. It's quite common on the CT sides because most map CT spawn is accessible when rotating through to pick up the extra utility. Players forget to do so on T sides because sometimes you don't have that luxury to go back to T spawn because it's really far from certain positions. It is definitely worth doing so on T side Inferno because of the amount of utility that is used on Banana for control. After Nexa throws his utility, he's going to go back to T spawn and picks up the drop nades. This is something Alexi B likes doing as well and it doesn't have to be the last rounds. If you're doing well economy wise T side, plan on dropping some utility. So now Nexa has extra nades which will make it easier for OG to execute B in this round or for use after plant. Fnatic are on eco and Forrest will show Crims how to silent drop from apartment balcony. You want to align yourself onto the rail to the left of this line here. Then hold W and A as you hit the wall which makes your model slide down the wall making no noise. Now it's Crims' turn. Crims will miss his first attempt and makes a noise when dropping. Then will get back up and tries again which he successfully hits the silent drop. Kading with an op is posted on CT from Newbox. Turtle will bait the shot by jumping off the rail and bars and peaks right after capitalizing Kadian's missed shot. From Kadian's POV, he is focused on any one floor level that he has to hit a flick in order to kill Turtle and by that time he goes back to get cover and gets killed. Anarez smokes pit standing on this back wall mid where the Abram is. He will aim at the bottom of this roof 
then jump throw. Afterwards, he will follow it up with a short flash, aiming here, and jump throw. The pit smoke will lock out DJ, the pit player, who can't help his teammates, as Finest also models the opposite side of the smoke, preventing him from pushing out. If you're playing in a site and your teammates arch and or long need a flash to peek, you could do so easily by just throwing a flash over this wall here. I've shown the run boost for mid on Inferno multiple times, but never really showed the lineup. So the first player, Fang, will line himself with this mark on the wall, then face towards his right. Junior will jump onto Fang, and that's when he runs backwards until he hears a run boost noise. As for Junior, he's going to use the ledge towards a wall that will elevate him to jump onto Fang's head, runs and jumps off his head where he will look at T-Stairs to see if there's any offers holding. If not, this allows him to peak mid where he gets a nice frag to Montu and with the run boost beats him there to hold before he can jump into Mexi. Bit throws fast bracket control nades from second mid. First he smokes left mid by staying in front of this wall sticking out, then aims here and jump throw. Afterwards he will run up to the left wall and as he is doing so aims at the end of the roof and jump throw, which is going to molly short. Then he flashes mid, just to let you know the CTs can get up to short before the molly lands. Here's another way of throwing fast control mid nades from Hunter in second mid. For the smoke he gets behind the small wall, aims here, then jump throw. However his smoke leaves a little gap as I'll show you a better lineup afterwards. Then Molly short aiming above the antenna and plant would meet as he's running forward and jump throw. Here's refresh throwing the same smoke. You need to aim just a little higher than jump throw. No gap. Synapse throws bracket control nades from the balcony that consists of smoking left, mauling short and flashing mid. The positioning for all three nades will be in this one position at the end of the rail here. While standing for the smoke, he aims as shown, then left click throw. For the short Molotov, aims to the left of this mark here and jump throw. Lastly, the flashy aims here and jump throw. I've seen teams sometimes also paired up with a porch molly since the molly synopsis throws only cover short. Be sick with a short flash from behind this wall in mid. He's going to aim at this part of the vase and jump throw. The flash will land above the roof and sets up two of his teammates for the frags on two of the blind CTs from a static. Case Rato throws retake nades from CT, he will crouch and align himself with this brick while crouched for the half wall smoke aims here, jump throw. Afterwards stands up for the car molly aims at the bottom of the roof, runs two sets forward and jump throw. I've shown this in a video where I show multiple ways to throw retake nades which you could click up here as well as a link below in the description box below. As a tag with the best spawn has a nice play with the opening pick dropping a log smoke to put out any CT mollies, getting on top of the logs and then peeking and killing the CT at corner. Here's a nice one way smoke submitted from Morango FPS. Stand in the corner of apartments, aim at this part of the rug, then left click throw. The smoke goes into the door and leaves a gap on the left where you can spy if anyone comes up from stairs. Make sure to join my discord to share your tricks and tips if you want to be featured in my videos, link is below in the description box. Sometimes T's like to throw one cross smoke first to bait out a reaction from the CTs whether that be counter utility and or peaks. Then they'll hug the wall as they advance up from long. One way to counter this as a CT if the T's do this is that since you know the T's are on the wall pushing up to avoid the peaks from A, then you could pre-aim and spray near the wall, which glowing does here and gets multi-frags. At the start of the round, Entropic will boost two players, Nickelback and Forrester, inside the long A corridor. From here, Nickelback will align himself as shown, then Forrester will get on top of Nickelback and peeks out the door where he can see the corner. He doesn't spot anyone and he continues to hold. What's nice about this boost is that it definitely will catch any CTs off guard from the initial peak with this off angle, as well as if any CTs come to peak door, they would have to hard flick to get this kill. Also, this boost allows you to see over the door smoke which we see in this round here, however no one from a stag is going to peek. I've also shown in the past FaZe attempting the same boost. Farlick with set flashes for corner, he is below the stairs, aims at this mark on the wall, then without moving his mouse, goes up the stairs to the bricks and left click throw two flashes. The flashes will blind the big clan players at game helper and long A, making it easier for Astralis to cross into sight. Imperial smokes tunnels and Plesson will get boosted to see over the smoke where he sees back platform and spots and kills bolts. Viz jiggle peeking B doors and sees mid to B nades being thrown from finders and he counters with the door hinge smoke on B site by going up to the door, aiming right below this thing here and then right click throw it. This is the same way you would do with mid doors. Afterwards he gets on top of the car where he has a one way to work with, 
However, Finest wait out the smoke and won't push or peek. This is the second time I've seen this smoke thrown for B doors in an official match. The first time I seen it was thrown from Swisher. GXX with an op gets run boosted long A where he gets the frag into Slack's A site. Unlucky for Slacks here as he was playing anti-flash and then peeks at a bad time as GXX has already gone way past the angle and Slacks wasn't expecting it. Bird from Sky throws a deep long A corner smoke from this back garage and spawn. He's going to aim above this roof then runs forward until he hits the top of the window and jump throw. This corner smoke lands deeper giving you cover from any one car holding pit as well as allowing you to swing to clear pit. Flamey from spawn 12 throws an instant corner smoke aiming top left of this window then jump throw. My good friend Maxwell is going to be making a collective dust 2 instant xbox and long a smoke video that will be released soon on my channel so be on the lookout for that. Plesson from spawn 11 throws an instant xbox smoke aiming at the top right of this square then run throw bind. Tapson also has a lineup from the same spawn which you can click up here. Robs is able to throw the mid door hinge smoke without a sniper and without any special commands. He finds a certain pixel which I don't even know where it is. This smoke though is super inconsistent without the scope because I've seen Robs miss this smoke multiple times. The only time he throws this smoke is when Faze is on eco and it's very helpful to be able to do so from here because sometimes CTs push tunnels on eco so you might not even get a chance to do the standard door hinge smoke. Barzan at the start of the round will smoke top main standing to the right of the rail, aims to the right of the roof then jump throw. This smoke will give cover for Cello who rushes Marshmallow onto main from any CTs holding from behind credit card. Cello will drop down into main gets the frag into Tapson. Torzi rushes to main with his op and gets the opening pick after Falcons nades it open. The door lurk smoke blooms and Torzi gets boosted behind the vent from Dexter to see over the smoke which also gives him a one way where he gets another frag into Kyojin and then almost takes down Haji bringing him down to 1 HP. It can be very hard to spot any CTs boosted behind the vent since the door lurk smoke gives him a one way. Dexter towards double doors will stand in front of him and he throws a smoke off the wall then opens a door for the smoke to instantly bloom. He will make his way out afterwards and quickly clear sight and then plants inside the smoke. At the start of the round, Fnatic sent two players with the best spawns to rush roof to nade the upper silo and has a third player nade from the floor level. The nades do really good damage onto two of the big clan players. Had Nico Dasa's nade landed deeper, Fnatic would have sure gotten at least one frag if not both. The team I saw that came up with these nades was Shaw's talent. Let's look at how to throw these nades. Messi goes to the left of this generator on the roof, aims here while running, then before he hits the rail, jump through. These nades will punish the CTs for either playing top silo or trying to get the top hut. Game changer. Crims will also throw the same nade as Messi. I forgot to mention, make sure you break the windows coming out of spawn beforehand. Nico Doss with the third nade being on the ground, lines himself up with the door, aims here, then runs forward until he hits the top of the door and jump throw. I couldn't find a nade that lands deeper from his position and if you do so, let me know. Here's a super duper easy way to smoke locker submitted by Conrad. Line with the end of the small blue, aim at the top of this corner, then run throw bind. The smoke bounces off the skybox, landing in front of the windows, leaving no gaps. Fnatic wait to see a big clan smoke ramp. They don't, so Nico Dots will throw a one way smoke, where he's staying in the corner, aims in the open space between these walls, and left click throw. Roy will peek behind the cover of the smoke, giving him a one way from ramp. However, no one from big is going to peek except for the jiggle peek from Crane. Crimbo with the nade set standing in front of this corner sandbag. He's going to smoke elevator, aiming here, run so one step forward and jump throw. Backs up to the sandbag, Molly's heaven aiming here, then run through a bind. Then backs up to the sandbag again, flashes short putting his crosshair on this brick, left and right click jump throw. Taps and throws a one way smoke top yellow, staying towards this back wall. He will aim as shown, then jump throw. Crimbo is in the way but it's a forgiving smoke. Afterwards goes short and Molly's yellow. Then afterwards, he's going to go to Tetris where he will flash for Crimbo to peak yellow. I'm sure there are better combinations and positions to throw this utility set rather than having taps and run to three different places to throw all three different util here. Mister breaks the window above ladder and he climbs up the ladder and he's going to flash top ramp staying to the left of this rail, aims corner of the door, jump throw. The flash blinds a CT opera holding from sandbag. 
Every Virgo match I've watched over the past couple of months, most teams have finally implemented the instant ramp smokes, and I covered how to throw these smokes, which I'll link below in the description. I've also covered instant yellow smokes, which I'll also link below. Here we see ZMB throwing the instant smoke and rushing ramp through his own smoke with the help of his teammates flashing him through the smoke, and he picks up two frags off of it. Apex has a yellow flash from top Tetris. He will position as shown. Aims at this part of the crate, then jump throw. Zaiwu swings from Ivy and kills Freiburg, who's playing anti flash. Dima with B flashes from this back left corner of stairs. Aims at the top left of the half beam, then jump throw. The flash blinds the Cole B players, forcing them back. I can't remember what match I seen this from, where if you're a CT saving in T spawn and the T's after playing A site are exiting and saving towards this back platform, you could throw this Doja nade here. Shush hides behind this wall CT holding main and picks off config and falls back safely afterwards. He is not affected by any of the flashes that Charles threw and config who was swinging out has to flick to try to kill Shush and by that time Shush already has the advantage. Here's an off play from Kidian that works out giving him the opening pick. First he plays anti rush making sure it's okay for him to push to peak elbow which no one from a Charles comes out early on. Kidian will clear close then peeks into yard getting the frag onto Farlick. He had refresh covering his window while he does so. You could definitely catch the T's off guard doing this play here. If you watch Cloud9 on their T pistols, they'll always invest in decoys because they use them as fake flashes. As we see here, Hobbit throws a decoy and peeks with it. Tapson took the bait and looks away. A static rush B and Bird from Sky is going to throw B site flashes, stand to the left of the box, and his teammates drop him some flashes as they rush up. Afterwards, he will smoke speedway, aiming here, then run through a bind. If you want to see the full tactic, you can click the annotation above or check the description for the video link. One tip as the donut player is to smoke it off when you make contact, which could cause a problem for the T's if they want to go through donut to get to A. They'll have to make a decision whether or not if they want to go through the smoke, and if they do, you put yourself in a favorable position to punish the T's for doing so. This move, as seen from Benta, is a pretty common play in the pro scene from your donut players that I've been seeing in my demo runs. You can smoke long safely from cave by not having to expose yourself too long by simply throwing it off this wall here. It will cover long, granted the smoke does extend out a bit. Keto nades bottom banana, smoke store off the wall, and then throws this molly front door standing in front of this wall, aims as shown, then jump throw. Tizian's gonna smoke elbow from outside donut towards mid off the wall in front of him. Then afterwards, he's gonna go up the stairs onto the right ledge and throws a nade elbow and it's intended for anyone playing behind the smoke. The nade does some chip damage onto the Strauss players. It would have done more damage had the Strauss players weren't inside elbow boosting to see over the smoke. Dexter from inside cave staying on the back wall has a set flash for Cheetah aiming above this stone. Then he's gonna left click throw. B must will swing off the flash, but no T's are there. That's the end of the video. Please support me by liking the video, commenting, sharing it with your friends and teammates, and especially subscribing to the channel. I put in a lot of work for these trick videos, and any of these actions will help the YouTube algorithm, and I greatly appreciate it. Till next time, Nightart here. Peace.